Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, I will show you how to fix Microsoft Authenticator app not sending code. So make sure that you watch this video till the very end so that you don't miss any of the important steps. Also, before proceeding, make sure you check out the links of all the resources that are mentioned here down in the description box below. So without further delay, let's get straight into it. First of all, in our first method, you need to simply check your internet connection. You need to make sure that your phone has working internet connection. In order to check that out, you can simply open your web browser and you can also open any of other applications that you are using and you can either search for any other uh, website like I search for tofro.com and see if it is actually working or not. If you see that the internet connection is not good you will find difficulty in loading the websites but if it is good it simply means that the problem is not with your internet connection now you need to open the settings of your device in your settings you need to simply just scroll down and tap on apps in the apps tap on the option of manage apps over here you can use the search bar in the top and search for authenticator now tap on the microsoft authenticator application here you will see the battery option so tap on battery option now you will need to simply choose the battery saver which is the recommended option here if it is selected to no restrictions or close app after the 10 minutes of the background activity you will face various types of problems so you need to simply just set it to unrestricted or allow background activity or battery saver as well on many of the phones if battery optimization is enabled Authenticator can't fetch the new codes or push notifications in the real time. Also, you can disable battery saver mode as it often kills the background services. So once this step is done in the same settings, you need to come in the app info. Here, just scroll down and select the option of uh, notifications. Now here, as you can see, for my Authenticator application, the notifications are turned off. So this might also be the case with you. So you need to tap on this show notification option or the toggle button right next to show notification. Once this tap is done, you will see all of the pop-ups, the lock screen and the priority options, meaning that you are going to get all of the notifications. Even if the app is installed correctly, you won't get the verification requests unless the push notifications are fully enabled from here. Some Android skins hide these under the advanced or the app notifications. So explore deeper if needed and enable the notifications if you want to get the code easily. Now, if the issue still persists, you can simply check for the updates for Microsoft Authenticator. For that, simply launch your Google Play Store or App Store and search for Microsoft Authenticator. If you see any of the updates available here, you can tap on the update option and update your Authenticator app to the latest version. Now installing the latest version fixes the bugs that may stop the push codes and background syncing. Also on Android you can search and update Google Play services as it required for the push based apps to function properly. Once both are updated you need to restart your phone and try login into your connected account again and see if the problem is fixed or if it is still there. If the issue persists, I would highly recommend you to come in your settings again and come into this page which is the app info again. Over here this time tap on the storage option then tap on the clear data option in the bottom then tap on clear cache and then press ok. Now be careful this may remove your linked accounts so make sure that you tap on clear cache and not on the clear data. If you do clear the data be ready to rescan your accounts QR code. Only do this if you have saved the backup methods and recovery information. After clearing the cache, you need to restart your phone and see if you are getting the codes or not. Now if the codes still not arriving, the issue may be with the linked account and not the application. So you can open your website of your account which you are using to log into your Microsoft Outlook or Xbox. Now here. From the security, you need to go to the login settings, remove Microsoft Authenticator as 2FA method and then you need to re-add it. So the site will show you a QR code to scan it later. Just keep that tab open for uh, when you are ready to set it up again. So this is going to basically refresh the link between the accounts and the application 
without needing to open the authenticator app on the camera so if this video helped you out make sure that you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you have any questions you can do let me know that in the comment section below thanks for watching bye